Hi, I'm Vizzy. I like making diagrams, so let's get right into it. This is every type of knowledge. But before we break each of these down, what is knowledge? In a philosophical sense of the word, it's usually defined as a justified true belief. So something that you think that you have justification to believe is true. But how exactly do we get knowledge? And what exactly are the ways of knowing things? So let's break down the eight ways of knowing. First, we have memory, where we use our prior memories to discern options for the future. Language, so the language we know changes how we communicate different ideas, and how we interpret meaning to different symbols. Reason, which is the process of using knowledge to interpret a conclusion. The senses, using any of the five senses to discern information. Emotion, using our emotional state to determine what we know. Faith, usually this knowledge has to do with religion or spirituality, but not necessarily. It's knowledge of something without necessarily having definitive reason. Intuition, sometimes called a gut feeling. And your imagination, using your mind to interpret things that are not real, or at least not yet real. And as we go back to the 14 types of knowledge, you'll see each of these ways appearing in them. First we have a posteriori. A posteriori is knowledge gained from personal experience. So it is knowledge that we conclude after experiencing something. An example could be picking something up and dropping it and watching it fall down. So you know if you drop something, it'll fall afterwards, based off of your experience. Next is a priori. This is the opposite of posteriori. This is knowledge that can exist without experience. An example is 1 plus 2 equals 3. This can be understood without seeing it happen in front of you. You don't need to get one object, then two objects, and then combine them together to understand that you have three. Dispersed knowledge. Dispersed knowledge is spread among many people. For example, in a hospital, you may have a doctor who administers care, but before the doctor, you have a nurse. And before the nurse, you have a receptionist. So all these people have knowledge of how to operate in a hospital, but each of them has their own piece of knowledge in their role. Expert knowledge. Expert knowledge is an understanding about a certain discipline or specialization. Typically, this is why we see people go to university to learn a specific domain, whether that be business, the arts, accounting. Empirical knowledge. Empirical knowledge is any knowledge obtained through the senses. So there's a slight difference from a posteriori. Posteriori is any knowledge derived from any experience, but empirical knowledge is only by the senses, meaning anything metaphysical does not count as empirical knowledge. So whatever experience you have has to be corporeal or tangible in some way. Encoded knowledge. Encoded knowledge has to do with knowledge that is stored and is decoded. The most common type is written language. So when we write words down and people can read those words, that's encoded knowledge. You might also see this in symbols, such as a stop sign or a stoplight. Tacit knowledge. Tacit knowledge is knowledge that you have but are not able to express. You might call this intuitive knowledge. An example of this would be someone with emotional intelligence. They may have good communication skills to make others feel welcome, but they may not be able to explain how exactly they do that. So because they can't explain it, it's tacit knowledge. Explicit knowledge. This is the opposite of tacit knowledge. So it's any knowledge that can be easily explained to others. So you can think of a DIY guide or a recipe. Meta knowledge. Meta knowledge is knowledge about knowledge. So knowing how knowledge works, how to classify it, how to gain knowledge is all meta knowledge. So this entire video would be an example of meta-knowledge. Or for another example, you can use a taxonomy, like Bloom's taxonomy. Imperative knowledge. Imperative knowledge is knowing how to do something. So knowing how to do specific steps for a process. This could be any procedure, like cleaning, or riding a bike. Descriptive knowledge. This is knowledge about knowing that something is correct or not, but not necessarily knowing how to do it. So descriptive knowledge doesn't have to be experienced. It can just be memorized. You can see this in most types of education. For example, something with vocal pedagogy. A vocal pedagogue can teach you how to sing in a healthier way, but doesn't necessarily have to be a good singer themselves. Situated knowledge. Situated knowledge comes out of a specific culture or community. So it's knowledge that's hard to understand if you're not from that community. For example, depending on where you live, men and women may have different expectations for how they should behave. Or even something like basic table manners. On what side does the silverware go? Who pours what drink? How do they pour it? All of this knowledge ends up being inherited, whether we want it to be or not. Known unknowns. This is the awareness of something that we don't know. So understanding there is knowledge there and that we don't have it yet. 
For example, when you started the video, you may have not known that there were different types of knowledge at all. So that curiosity led you to a known unknown. Lastly, unknown unknowns. Unknown unknowns is any information that we don't have and that we don't know that we don't have it. Take, for example, the idea of a modern smartphone or AI. Compare that to our understanding 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 1,000 years ago. We never could have comprehended what technology was capable of. And yet, even now, we're still seeing it progress. You may also see this in religion. Some people treat the idea of God as something that they fully cannot comprehend. And try as they might, they'll never fully grasp it. And to them, it will remain an unknown unknown. So that was every type of knowledge. So let me know what you think. What knowledge is your favorite? Or what knowledge do you think you use the most? I think especially due to the nature of this channel, I use explicit and meta quite a bit. But let me know your thoughts. And if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.